Welcome builders, Andy is Yodi here. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. We sure had a lot of fun building these five pumpkin upgrades. Big shout out to the builders, Sarasvin, Aaron, Tuatha, Michael, J. Knowles, Darksaber, Snazpants, and Zerani. I will also show you a little bit of behind the scenes as well after this little tour of what we've done so far. Look at that little hole. Ooh. That's gonna get filled in. This is what we started with, the most basic pumpkin house we could come up with. <laughs> there we go, level zero. This is level one. We decided to enlarge our pumpkin slightly. We made it out of orange concrete and also orange terracotta to represent the kind of the seams. And it's looking kind of homely on the inside. Even some dead bushes up there. Love that little touch. And a little mushroom in the corner. I thought there's not mushroom inside the house. Wow. Oh, sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. So that's upgrade number one. Upgrade number two is this effort here. The mushroom getting a bit bigger. We've got a little well, a pumpkin patch, a big tree. Hopefully this is inspiration uh, for you guys building little pumpkin houses, maybe autumnal cottages. I think I will be having a little video on some autumn or fall cottages coming up on my channel quite soon. So this is upgrade two. Love the interior on level two. We've got a little uh, stove in the corner, a pumpkin sofa, of course, and a little elevated bed area as well. So there's actually a bit more space in the pumpkin than you would think. So that is upgrade number two. Upgrade number three, we went for an even bigger pumpkin. Um, why are you there? Don't be there. A little pumpkin here is what we've got next. We've got a pond, uh, a mushroom, a tree. <laughs> Great commentary so far. Uh, these little round windows I thought were quite good. I designed them so obviously they're brilliant. Uh, no, I'm joking. This is a interesting place on the inside. We kind of ran out of time to do the inside but we do have a spiral staircase all the way up into the kind of the stock tower on top. A nice fireplace that has potential uh, number three. So it was one, two, three upgrades. Number four upgrades, we went absolutely crazy. This is a giant pumpkin built by Zerani. So big shout out to Zerani who really took our pumpkins and ran with them. And he became the pumpkin expert. I think he's actually going to add it to his CV. Um, he didn't know he was good at pumpkins, but my goodness, look at the size of this thing. Absolutely enormous. So this is built with uh, orange wool, orange concrete. We've also got some terracotta and he's used green and lime terracotta for the kind of the, the vines and the roots, the leaves of the pumpkin at the base. So on top, we've got a, a tower, crooked tower and a crooked chimney. I'm not happy with the chimney. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to improve it. We've got windows at the top. Looks like a big demented frog, actually, which is a little bit weird. Uh, beautiful candle and kind of this walkway which leads an up and into our pumpkin. Again, we didn't have too much time to do much of an interior. This was a very, very quick build, to be honest, uh, but we enjoyed it and it was fun and it's kind of Halloween-y and that was the whole point of just getting, sometimes you just need to start placing blocks and you get in the mood for building other things as well. So I would say if you're stuck with a kind of a blank canvas and you don't know what to build in Minecraft, just build literally anything. Have a look at our, our lanterns as well. These were really good. I think Aaron built these lanterns. I thought these were really, really cool as well. So even just building a lantern, building a spider's web, build something, you get inspiration for building your next project and it's all good practice it's practice 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 our windows here are very interesting these are made of yellow stained glass with honey block behind that and then we have some light placed behind the honey block and it makes these very bright windows so something you didn't see in the video was what was behind our fifth upgrade we just spammed these lights all around the place some of these looking very bright indeed, extra light being added. Um, I built this tower over here and Sarasvin made an amazing uh, kind of a witch's or a wizard's hat with a curve as well. And then in here you've got a little beacon as well. Shout out to Darksaber for this lantern as well, which I thought was rather smart with the blue. A bridge across to our, our witch's tower or wizard's tower and the inside of it is kind of empty, but I love the spiral staircase on the outside. So have a look at this. Built of dark prismarine. 
it just goes up in these kind of L shapes around the side, then kind of straight up there, and then more L shape, L shape, L shape. So this is this circle or cylinder to build this tower is five one one five. So it goes five one one five all the way around. And the spiral staircase actually fits really neatly. So if you can see how I've done that, it's actually pretty smart indeed. Oh, another block that is off. If you'd like to download our upgrades series, we've got maps from 2019, 2020, 21, 2022, and soon for 2023 as well. All our upgrades, seven upgrades, 13 upgrades, five upgrades, however many it was, we've got them all lined up on maps. I've also got kingdoms for download as well. And I've got uh, whole cities on those kingdoms ready for you guys to tour as well. We've got schematics, lightmatics, all these things available for you guys to download if you become a YouTube channel member. The link is in down, in the down below or press the green join button. Or, same difference, you could become one of my Patreons on patreon.com forward slash Andy Isura. And that is how to support me and keep me doing what I'm doing. The inside of this is a little bit crazy. We do have a worm munching away on our Look at that face, though. <laughs> Got a worm in here. A worm munching on our pumpkin. Thank you to Dark Saber for the epic, epic worm. I don't shut doors, by the way, so just to just to annoy you there. And then upstairs, we've got another big part of our mansion. Would you live here? By the way, I love the hanging house by Sarasvan. Little hanging pumpkin house. This possibly is our best pumpkin house out of the whole lot. What do you think? Ooh, just before I go, I did promise uh, a little bit of behind the scenes where we do some of our development work. My frames per second is going to go right down here because I've inc increased my render distance. Uh, but this was a pumpkin I made just with making kind of a an oval shape to begin with. Kind of a round, flattened oval shape with a world edit. And then we just by hand kind of carved in these lines. And then we were able to use special uh, world edit tools. Oh, by the way... This is amazing. So thank you to the builder who made that. I'm not going to give you a shout out just now uh, in case you're embarrassed because we didn't use it, but I'm sorry. If we'd done seven upgrades to a pumpkin, we would definitely would have used that. Yeah, we used some special software to increase the size of our pumpkins and scale them up. And they got a little bit ridiculous, as you can see. And then over here, they became really nicely well shaped by Zerani and then if we were going to do seven upgrades we would have gone on to this design as well and would have had little houses hidden in these pumpkins as well and pumpkins are not always orange as well we did our research well Zerani did and we found out that you get it's kind of blue and gray and white pumpkins as well I mean who knew I thought pumpkins were always orange as well so there you go a little bit of behind the scenes this one is absolutely enormous how to make a pumpkin in minecraft maybe i should make a video on that thanks for watching take care ciao ciao in the blocks be with you